Hey all, welcome. Uh, so we're redoing or rebooting Skyrim Vanilla. So all I have is fixed mods and no body mods. Just a mod called Pretty Face, just to make the female character look a little bit better, but not to change any core aspects. And I'm just using one of Azar's hair packs, and that's it. Everything else is all vanilla, though. I uh, reboot. I did this video about a two months, about a month and a half ago. Um, but I'm redoing it now. So yeah, just same as before. Probably archery. Just uh, very vanilla gameplay. I also have modded gameplays ongoing, of course. Any questions? Let me know. Other than that, I guess we will start. And hopefully the cart won't flip this time. the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now. <laughs> Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. Even if they captured you. Oh, God. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be your home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Dibella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Dad? Where are they going? Let's go inside. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa. Yes, Papa. I should add, the only thing I have to make the graphics better is EMB, but that's it, yeah. Not actually a mod. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! Nice! Adver's actually here this time. The last time I did this? He was just gone. Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. <clears throat> the 
took care of Rorik's dad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! You're not gonna kill me. Archers! Anyone else see <laughs> running? Wait. You there. Step forward. You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning! My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperial. You say the same. You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Nord and the Rag. There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. What in oblivion is that? Sentry, what do you see? It's in the clouds. I was kind of debating getting a few mods for this game, but I was like, nah, let's do it, Vanilla. I was going to turn him into a Thomas the Tank Engine. That, ba that mod is actually banned on Skyrim SE. I guess he couldn't port it. I heard that he got, like, um... Not sued, but... He got, like, a cease from, uh... Hasbro? I guess they own... Gonna jump over you. Yeah, I had to turn it on the FPS limit. If you don't, the uh, cart at the beginning just flips right out. I was debating not having ENB on at all, but I figure you guys might appreciate having at least having some decent graphic effects. And we'll actually go Nord this time because I'm Nord. So it is super bright right now because I haven't tweaked the settings. So let's just bump it down there for now. It's so weird having everything load so quickly, like even the HUD. We'll meet again in Solemngard, brother. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. May as well take on your gear. He won't be needing it anymore. You know, I really miss uh, Oblivion. Like the RPG systems from it. I feel like Skyrim is a great game, but it's just abandoned too much. Like, I like the class system, I like the attributes, I like leveling up to sleep. 
that kind of stuff. Uh, we can't go through the gate. Damn. No way to open this from our side. So I've got vanilla skin, vanilla face. Well, except for this pretty face mod, but it uh, doesn't affect. It's the only one that doesn't require any other body mod. So I think it looks all right. Doesn't change the skin at all. I didn't want to go uh, with a bunch of body mods. I like the original look. There it is. Ooh, dagger. I do like their bracers and gloves. Or bracers and boots. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Come on. Let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole You know, just like replaying Oblivion just kind of shows how much they've abandoned for RPG mechanics. Gone full uh, combat, you know. Ever since like Morrowind, and while well, me playing Morrowind as well, I just noticed that uh, a lot has been changed. A lot has been left behind. Like while I'm glad that we don't have a dice roll when we hit every time, which was kind of dumb, but that was the time. You know, that's how games were and. It's just like the standard dice rolls. Take that salt pile. I might actually turn the brightness down because it's a little too much. I feel like I'm going to go blind at the end of the night. So let's bump that down. That, that looks better. Just a little too much. But then watch like the interiors and now outside be super dark. Oh right, I'm not supposed to hit you. I'm supposed to hit this guy. You guys got him. Iron shields. Like there's something in this cage. Uh, it's locked. So yeah, it's funny. I pumped down the brightness a bit and now it's like just too dark. So let's put it at seventy-eight. Might need that gold once we get out. Grab anything useful and let's go. I'll take your stuff. What does he have for books? Oh man, this UI. Oh. <laughs> kind of painful. Not gonna lie. Ragged robes. Robes that are ragged. General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. Not gonna die by a dragon. Oh, I forgot you can't block arrows. That's it. That's all Another thing that uh, got changed. So long ago, but I even remember the day this came out. So long ago. So iron arrow. Bow. 
Let's kill us some spiders. Um, there. Thank you. You know, I was thinking even the vanilla outfits in this game are not that bad. Like uh, some of them. Like I like the Dawn Guard stuff. I like the Savior's Hide, Forsworn Armor. Uh, I like the Jester's outfit from the Dark Brotherhood. That one's good. Oh, look, see him do like the little uh, crazy dance there. big guy. Got him. The less I have to look at them, the better. I don't know about you guys, but it grosses me out. Oh, got a big bear. Oh, 2011 was a long time ago. Wait. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. Better clear out of here. See you later. Runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. We got some hooligans here. Was my kill. Rayloff. Man, I can't shoot this person. No one messes with you? You know, where'd she die? Oh, there she is. My arrows! So you know how you can like strip their armor like that? That's uh, gone in Starfield. I don't know why, I just... I got rid of that. No more indecency, I guess. There's a book here. 
<laughs> what the heck was that? My teeth. There, perfect level of brightness, I think. It's just a little dark on both sides. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. Oh, what choice did she have? You know? Can't just move. So we leveled up. I would say stamina for carry weight. And let's put some points in archery right away. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. Deep, eh? It's never too late to take charge of your own fate, you know. True. Oh wait, I have armor. What am I doing wearing these raggedy old clothes? Hide? Or studded? Studded for now. So I'm gonna break off with Rayloft to do this mine. So we can get some ore. When we go to... Uh, white run. Cause there's actually no forge in the town. Oh, no barrels equipped. Now ain't this a surprise? Rooms. Yeah. That'd be sneaky here. Gonna make some arrows, right? How much does that weigh, I wonder? Oh my god, these guys, they keep, uh... There. 
kind of don't really want to bother switching to melee. It's almost not worth the effort. points. Someone that thought I heard something. Not so tough. Though if I was playing on like legendary, then yeah. <coughs> Alright, so Steel War Axe. That looks like an upgrade. slow. I want to try Arcane Archery and see if that actually is viable in vanilla. I don't know if it is. It's so weird to have using um Vanilla perks? <laughs> I'm so used to all my fancy perks from Ordinator. I've been playing so many old games lately like this. Dragon Age Origins. Neverwinter Nights. Like I'm trying to live in the past or something like that. Uh, Debella, Beechcraft. Now I can convince people of things, I guess. I don't think I need more right now. I don't want to weigh myself down. I'm kind of thinking we'll go to Pine Watch another time. It's the guys that are a little bit higher. Hide boots. Go to town for now, then we'll go straight to Bleak Falls. Wait, didn't that guy have... Oh, did he fall down? There's a guy there. I guess he fell into the river. River, stream, stream. Is a stream when it's really small. Here we go. I wonder if Rayloff's mad that I uh, <laughs> just buggered off. Probably not. I suppose. What? I'll show you what I know. Sweet. Oh, I have no money. Never mind. Sorry, Fandel. Don't believe it. Oh, there he is. Is it safe for you to be here? Gerder. We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Gerder, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who is this? 
One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet, but a friend. I owe her my life, in fact. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. Of course. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there's anything else you need, just let me know. Oh, what's this all about? What are you two doing here? Take everything. I always do. A dragon? In Helgen? It can't be. Although, it would explain what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I thought I must have just been seeing things. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. He's standing right here. Go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. You're right. Follow me. Hod, come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Spend drunk on the job again? Raylo, what are you doing here? Ha, I'll be right down. Get some firewood for some arrows. See, because I don't have conjure bow yet. Don't believe it. Not too shabby. Apprentice level work. But solid. Keep at it. Trader is still open. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing an ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to, the sooner you find trinkets, odds and ends. That sort of thing. What does he have? Lockpick. Right. Why? Oh, yeah, I need those. How would you like some wine? Didn't we have a ring to sell that we picked up? I thought we did. That must be it. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... By the... Only 
retreat to the edge of town. I was not doing anything. Oh, what is with him? I'm coming, I'm coming. Feel free to go back down to where you were. Oh, <laughs> he's watching me. Okay. We have to go through town. He's like, get out of there. Get away from the stupid thing. You can see it from here though. The mountain just built its building. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Please finish what I'm working on. But keep watching. I'm kind of tempted to go all the way there first, but... I'm kind of curious because on my other game, there's a path to bleak fall up through here, but that might be from a mod. I kind of want to check it out. Oh, here's the treasure chest from the map. Okay, so it is modded. That's what I thought. Because normally there's a pathway right there where you can just go straight up the mountain. Cut through all the wolves and stuff over here. That's actually pretty interesting that uh, that mod do changes the, the land like that. All right, looks like we just have to fight wolves then. Well, there's supposed to be a wolf there, but I don't know where he went. Uh, maybe they weren't expecting me to meander. Keeps moving, bugger. better actually there's one more guy up there
Wow, look at that. Pretty cool. Oh, see how slow those arrows are? I didn't realize that. <laughs> it's a cat. Yeah, it's kind of crazy the differences between modded and unmodded. Even the door that opens there. Well, move on. What I'm probably going to do is like finish this and then tr and boot up a brand new game on SE and just see the difference between 800 mods and like five. I think I picked up some fur armor too. That one. Like even the ruins textures inside, like they look very kind of rough. The when they get like remastered for mods, they're um a lot darker color. Kind of crazy. You know what modders can do with two a game? Yep, unbelievable. Yeah, because this feels like a 2011 game. Skyrim Messi with 800 mods feels like a game from 20... I don't know, 19? Oh, come on. I'm trying to, like, hit him and... Oh, he died anyway. Wow. So it's snake, snake, whale. Oblivion, though, with mods, isn't uh, a huge difference from vanilla. It never really picked up as much as Skyrim did. Yeah, it's very weird, just like Skyrim just blew up in the last few years. Last year or two especially.
Is that what her name was? Celine. Oh, we got a... Wow, that's a rare find. I think we would see something like that to like... At least level 10. He really wants to get me. Keep it away from me. Get it away from me. Get it away. Get it away from me. Oh, In the middle of battle. I uh, wait, lock picking. Oh, it's just the basic stuff. Oh, so the in inventory increase is a mod thing. Well, I guess that makes sense. Well, let's just keep a uh, percent chance of critical hit. Or it's 30. Oh. Did he just spit at me? Oh, he's pissed. Oh, my arrow's back too. Let me out of here. You, over here. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Greedy. <laughs> What's going on? I was like stuck in kill mode. Weird? What was that? Oh, there's our friend Arvel. He noob. He had a belted tunic. Like what uh, the girl in the end is wearing, Camilla. Camilla Valerius, paragon of her kind. Vanilla, they're not too bright. With my mod, they they uh they come after me right away. Oh, 
I like my uh, soul effects. Damage ain't worth it. Oh wow, I did not see you there. That's one. Yep. Oh, Porsche of invisibility. Now that's interesting. Definitely use that later when I'm running away from guards. Everyone runs away from guards, right? Pretty sure they do. Get caught stealing. Yeah, so bright too. Weird. Very weird. I kind of understand how people can play on Legendary on Vanilla now. Like on my version, like my modded arm, it's very, very hard. Everything already hits like a truck with mods. Like even the lock picking's harder. You don't level up nearly as fast too. If we have archery up now. Oh, it's not 30 yet. Uh, light armor. You know what? Let's switch our ammo. I'm 
think I wrecked by that. One nice thing is not a lot of like skin texture. You know how like those neck seams. So oh, it's bear moth owl. So there's actually a treasure chest back here. Um, I was going to play through like this by myself, but I figured uh, someone might want this. So if you guys do want more, let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably keep going. Because I know the focus of my channel is mods, of course. Sometimes I do unmodded games. Like this Dragon Age Veilguard coming up will be unmodded for about a week. I know it'll have frosty uh, support, but I just don't know if it'll... Uh... Oh, I'm going to have to cheese this. One more. Yeah, mods will come out. Uh, it'll have frosty support probably in about a week or so. I don't know though because I didn't mod Dragon Age Inquisition right when it came out. So I guess we'll see what happens. Like Starfield had mods day one, of course, but that's a Bethesda game. That's to be expected. Which I'm actually having an okay time with lately. I guess I'll take the skull too. All right, let's turn this into Lucan. The sooner you find the claw, you found it. <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. It's true, though. With memory, you know, things always seem different. Well, that's it for today. Like I said earlier, if you guys want more, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna continue by myself. I just thought it was kind of, I had this feeling that I kind of wanted to try out vanilla for a little bit and play it all the way through to do a perspective and I might do like a modded versus unmodded video kind of thing, putting both things in perspective, positives, negatives, that kind of thing, you know, comparing because I've only got about five mods on me right now. Just uh, fixes and the pretty face mod and that's it that is pretty much it but yeah uh so i guess see you guys around take care